All right, all right, all right. Welcome back to WMAC Now with your host, Chuck Stevenson. Coming at you with a bit of uh, fight news. I already announced one of these fights, but uh, Pancraze organization in Japan has announced three women's fights for their 311th event. And that goes down in December. Uh, hold on one sec. Let me check the date on this. Pancrase 311, December 8th at Shinkiba Studio Coast. So um, their first fight up here is two uh, pro debutantes. You have Diana, who I don't really know much about her. I know that I've looked up some, read some articles or had translated them on Google. Apparently she trains out of Abe Ani Combat Club. That's A-A-C-C. Uh, that is uh, the same gym that uh, Ryzen Super Atom Weight Titleist and former Invicta Atom Weight Titleist uh, Ayaka Hamasaki trains out of. And that's the gym that, uh, you know, women's uh, all time great uh, Megumi Fujii also trains out of. Uh, she is like half Japanese, half Colombian. That explains why she doesn't look like regular, typical Japanese girl. And, uh, she is a part-time model and also travels to Thailand regularly to train Muay Thai over there. Um, her opponent, Karen Date, is out of the infamous Team Date, which is like a mix of like idol group and MMA fighters. Uh, Karen Date is the youngest member of the team. She is 16 years old. Uh, so she is 16. She'll be 10 years younger than her opponent, Diana, is uh, 26. Now, Karen has a 2-0 amateur record in MMA dating from 2016. And then she, the next year in 2017, she fought twice in, on the same day for Seiza, which is like a mixed uh, custom rules organization that does like moat fights where if they, they knock you out of the line, you lose. Uh, she won a fight there and then lost a fight there. She hasn't participated in MMA of any t type since. So she'll be take making her pro debut alongside her opponent. Uh, next up, we have another member of Team Date, Nori Date, taking on Maria Suzuki. Uh, Nori Date is one of the better fighters out of Team Date. She is 3-3, three and three, and that tells you a lot about them. Um, Suzuki, on the other hand, is one and three. Now, Nori was supposed to fight last month for Pancraze 308. Or no, I'm sorry, that was in September. She was supposed to fight Hyunji John as part of the strawweight tournament, and she missed weight by 2.45 kilos. So now she is moving up to flyweight to take on Suzuki. Now, Suzuki is only 1-3 in, in MMA. However, she is a pretty beastly kickboxer. Um, so this will make for an interesting fight. Uh, Suzuki's the older fighter, 25, to Nori Date's 21 years old. Uh, Nori Date is listed by typology as being an inch taller, 5'3", 160 centimeters, to Suzuki's 5'2", um, or 158 centimeters. Now both are primarily stand-up fighters, so I wouldn't, I would expect them to mostly keep it standing. Although, if I were Nori Date, I would try to take this to the ground because I believe Suzuki's losses are, do do do, okay, split decision. Okay, she did lose one fight on the ground due to ground punch. I can't imagine she's very good on the ground though, being that she's primarily a kickboxer and has a more extensive kickboxing experience than. MMA. And then the third and final fight we already talked about is Hyunji John taking on Emi Fujino for the Strawweight Queen of Pancraze Championship. Uh, Fujino is obviously the far more experienced fighter uh, than John. John only has, let me see here, Hyunji. John is only three and two. While Fujino has over uh, 20 fights. Actually, she has over 30 fights, excuse me. Uh, 
24 and 11 for Fugino, 3 and 2 for John. Now, uh, Fugino is the taller fighter, 5'3", 2, 5, 1 for John. However, John is 13 years younger than Fugino, 25 to Fugino's 38. Now, so Fugino is the elder statesman of these three fights. Uh, she's has a lot of mileage on her, but she is still beating up on younger fighters all the time. If you had to ask me uh, who would win, I'm going to go with Fugino early, but we'll have to see. You never know come fight time. All right, so that's the uh, three fights for Pancrase 311. Uh, some interesting ones. Uh, I don't know who to pick between, uh, was it Diana and Karen date? Uh, Karen has obviously has amateur MMA, MMA experience. I can't find anything on Diana. Um, uh, for the second fight, I'm going to go with Nori date. I'm going to go against my normal rule of never picking a date fighter. I'm going to pick uh, Nori Date to beat Maria Suzuki. And then in the third fight, which I believe is going to be the main event or possibly co-main event, uh, Fujino versus John, um, I got to go with F Fujino. Uh, there, I just don't see John having enough skill uh, to beat her. She's younger. She'll probably be faster. But I, from what I've seen of Hyunji John's fights, I don't think she uh, is the... I don't think she's at a high enough caliber yet, uh, skill-wise, to beat any Fujino. But it's a uh, you know three ladies fights. Uh, Pan Craze has been having a lot more ladies fights lately, which I'm happy to see. I'm not always happy with you know the matchmaking there, but it's a step in the right direction. So we'll we'll take it as a win for now. Um, anyway, let me know what you think about the three fights in the comments down below. Uh, as always, likes are always appreciated, and hey, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to WMAC Now, the best, fastest-growing women's mixed martial arts dedicated platform on YouTube, and hit that bell for notifications so you know what's coming up. And we'll see you next time.